This is my story. This is the house I was born in. I lived here until I was about seven years old. We had a basketball hoop right there. This is the driveway where I fell in love with the game. We eventually moved here. That was my old bedroom up in the top right window. Life was great, man. Had everything I could ask for until my parents told me they were getting a divorce. I knew my life was about to change. We went from this to this. The struggle was so real. I remember numerous nights where I ate dinner and my mother did not. She always made sure that I was taken care of, that I was good. I started a clothing line at the age of 13 to help her financially while also balancing high school and basketball at the same time. I already knew I wasn't going to college unless I got a scholarship, so it was time to grind. Hey, I'm just gonna put this out there. I was nice, man. Six foot seven, played a one through the five. I like to think I was ahead of my time. I was a D1 recruit out of high school, had offers all over the place, but one week before my official visit to Baylor, I broke my leg in eight spots. Lost all my offers. Kind of gave up on basketball during my recovery. Just felt like you put so much time and effort into something and it fails you. I remember laying in bed, my phone rings. It's the head coach from Northern Michigan University. He told me he had heard about me, he heard of my injury, and he still wanted to give me a full ride scholarship. Man, I took that flight to NMU so fast. I got there, committed right on the spot. While playing college basketball, I just couldn't catch a break. My body kept breaking down, injury after another. Just felt like it was time to retire. But I did decide to finish my bachelor's degree and I also got my master's as well. Just thought it was a good idea to start thinking for the future. I moved back home to Ohio, started my own company. I ran that for eight years full time. One day, my mom had called me and one day, my mom had called me and asked if I could come over. She said that she had something to tell me. <sighs> she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Several months later, she passed away. I was lost. I was depressed. I honestly didn't know if I would ever bounce back. Then COVID hit. Dealing with the loss of my mother and depression, I hadn't touched the ball since I stopped playing in college, but something kept telling me to get back to my roots. I started creating content, and that's when the Motivated by Mylan brand was born. The moral of my story is, adversity isn't a stumbling block, it's a stepping stone. When life gets tough, keep going.